welcome to our Greek feast transporting us back to medieval era of 2050 AD. Today I'll be your guide through a bountiful spread of stuffed grape leaves, flaky spadaca and pita, triangles, braised chicken, and orzo, stuffed peppers and tomatoes, and the iconic honey-drenched dessert, baklava. You'll start with crisp, refreshing domanes, or stuffed grape leaves. Tender grapevine leaves are wrapped around a fragrant filling of rice, currants, herbs, and lemon. These savory little bundles are perfect for popping in your mouth. Up next are triangles of tairupa, layers of buttery phyllo pastry encasing a creamy fetid egg custard. The blend of textures and tangy saltiness is so addictive. Our first main dish, coquinisto mimanista, honey chicken braise. Onions, garlics, and carrots saute in, in olive oil. Then chicken thighs are added to brown. We'll nestle this down into a bath of broth and orzo paste to gently simmer until melts in your mouth tender. A squeeze of lemon provides brightness to balance the warming juices. For our next main dish, we have gamista tomatoes and peppers stuffed to overflowing with a hearty mix of ground meat, rice, herbs, and spices. These stuffed beauties are roasted in a sauce of their own juices until fork tender. I can hardly wait to spoon some of the pan drippings over the top. Finally, we end up on a sweet note with the queen of Greek desserts, baklava. Vivacious layers of phyllo dough sandwiched chopped nuts are drenched in aromatic honey syrup for a perfect balance of crispy, chewy, and sticky sweet. Throughout our meal, we have fresh baked bread for soaking up juices and popping perfect bite-sized morsels. This transporting spread offers you a diverse array of textures, flavors, and techniques defining medieval Greek cuisine. Getting hungry just talking about it. Now let's dig in while everything is still warm and fragrant. My question as always, which of these dishes would you like to try? I trust you are enjoying this series as it brings me great joy to share my resources. Speaking of sharing, if you would like more content like this, click the link to my Patreon and buy me a cup of coffee. Contrary to popular belief, we are not paid through YouTube and therefore depend on contributions from viewers like you. Be sure to leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Right now, go and click the like button and be sure to subscribe as I have so many more other recipes from my walk through time just to share as we continue to answer the question, what the heck did they eat?